Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Oak Bytes Blogazine and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I fought the troll Good evening and welcome to episode 77 of the Tech Bytes audio cast. I'm Tim, I'm here with Roy. We've also got a couple of special guests tonight, uh, the developers from a game which I covered on Open Bytes about a year or so ago called Greedy Car Thieves. And this is a moment of truth where I'm going to either embarrass myself or impress two people on the other end of the line. We have with us tonight Bartosz Hadarowski and Wojtek Sterner, and I really hope I've pronounced them reasonably accurately. They're two developers from the uh, Really Parties project. who are here tonight and going to uh, explain a little bit about their project. I'll pass it over to Bartosz first. Well, hello. Uh, I'm glad to, to talk here tonight about uh, about our project. Uh, the name is Greedy Car Thieves, and it's uh, basically a clone of uh, G of GTA uh, series. Okay. I mean the uh, GTA and GTA 2 uh, versions, which are classic uh, top-down uh, action shooters and driving games. Um, so we're aiming to uh, make something similar, but uh, using new uh, technologies, and we hope that uh, software will work uh, not only on Windows but also on uh, the open source operating systems such as Linux, um, maybe BSD. Uh, we also target uh, Mac OS X. Uh, uh, what what else can I say? Uh, it's, uh, You're using a whole new framework for doing the physics, the graphics. Uh, well, we we do develop our own. Uh, yeah, basically, one one of the main points uh, of uh, of this whole project was uh, uh, was the the, lear- the learning part, right? Mm-hmm. So we wanted to do uh, basically everything uh, from scratch, the whole run the whole code. Uh, yeah, so we wanted to write our own, uh, implement our own uh, graphical engine, network engine, mm-hmm. physic, physical engine, uh, just to just to learn. Uh, oh. we, Is we, it involving? Uh, go on. Is well, it involving in any way the ISO? Uh, the uh, I sh- should mention I saw that, for example, Bartosz received I think last year's. At least uh, put out his master's thesis, uh, which yeah. had something to do with computer graphics. So I was wondering if the project was one way of the demonstrating the uh, framework which you developed. Well, well, no, actually, Wojtek is the one who made a thesis uh, on uh, computer graphics. Uh, yeah, yeah, but actually, it's uh, it, it was not related uh, to the game at all. Um, well, I can just interject uh, for a second for the people that might not know. Um, Greedy Car Thieves, uh, the title that we're discussing here, and uh, obviously got the two developers for, uh, obviously came my attention because it was aimed uh, for, for the Linux platform, which immediately uh, struck my interest. It's um, a title that is reminiscent of the original Grand Theft Auto series, where uh, it's a top-down hybrid 3D uh, shooter and uh, car-driving game. It's uh, an excellent little title, which I covered in 2011, which was absolutely fantastic. And uh, it's obviously continued since then, and uh, is, is a very good example of uh, indie development at its finest. Um, that was the main reason for, for coming on the show today. And there will be links in the show notes to my original article, but also, more importantly, the, um, the site itself, so you can actually see the package of the product that we're talking about at the moment. Um, sorry, Roy, I just wanted to stuff that in. in yeah, there is a very impressive video, which uh, I saw a couple of days ago, uh, of the latest build. I think there was a post updating uh, uh, the followers about the state of the project and trying to illustrate in the form of the video. 
uh, the types of features, the graphics, the new things, which I found to be extremely impressive. Uh, I just wish I managed to install that without any hassle. Uh, well, basically, I suppose it's basically a pre-compiled version, uh, which may or may not work depending on the system one is using. Um, but I, I, used, I actually developed an OpenGL-based project before, uh, and I was using uh, several uh, packages, including GLUT, uh, at the time to develop it. Uh, can can you tell us a bit about the projects that you relied on to to make it? For example, if you've used the wrapper to the OpenGL libraries. Uh, well, yeah, one wrapper that we used uh, was something you mentioned the uh, GLUT, uh, right? It was a library to uh, uh, helps in creating window, right? Managing window, capturing events, and so on. So uh, the library that we used to handle that thing, that these things, uh, is uh, SDL, which is quite very popular library uh, used uh, by developers to achieve uh, uh, to handle Windows capture events. And the nice thing about SDL is that it is cross-platform, right? So this was our uh, bet from the very beginning. We we mm-hmm. we knew that we will use. We would use that that library. Yes, right. I'm a Linux person myself, so I really wanted to develop this uh, this, this game under Linux, and not uh, I, I didn't want to uh, switch to Windows to you know to write <laughs> code. So, so maybe that's one of the reasons we decided to, yeah, to use it, uh, <laughs> uh, as uh, uh, as open our, our solutions as we can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but basically for the for the whole whole time. And we've been working on this project. Uh, I, uh, Wojtek, uh, I've been working on Windows, uh, where Bartek uh, uh, has been working on uh, Linux. Because he mm-hmm. basically hates, hates Windows. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so from the from the from the first version of the game, we've been uh, working on two different uh, platforms independently. So we had to we. Uh, all, all, for all the time we, uh, we knew that it was working on Windows and Linux. Mm-hmm. But we digress. What, uh, do you want us to expand more or, or on? Well, I've, I've got a couple Just of questions rough, for you. Um, okay. A, a couple of questions. So, sort of growing up and learning in, around the computing and coding environment, uh, obviously it goes without saying one of your influences would probably be uh, the Grand Theft Auto game, which may be inspired more than a little bit the uh, the current title that you're working on. But what, if I could pin you down to uh, some of the projects, some of the uh, previous titles, games that you uh, aspire to or you were impressed with when you saw, or maybe the ones that encouraged you to be developers yourselves, is there any title that you could fire off that... Uh, that springs to mind? Well, you know, uh, as far as I remember, I've been interested in uh, computer engineering, computer programming. Uh, I, I owned a Schneider PC, which was uh, basically a German uh, copy of ZX Spectrum. Uh, and then I got PC, and so all I, all I was doing there was playing computer games. And someone told me that making games is also cool, so I started to learn how to program, and it's, uh, I really liked it. And it, mm-hmm. I basically learned how to program to make computer games. And, and, and I, 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 I kind of liked it, and I started uh, doing it. Uh, but uh, well, you asked about specific titles, well, I don't know. Uh, GTA 2 was great. I mean, the, uh, especially the multiplayer, uh, the multiplayer uh, yeah, sol- solution. Uh, it's uh, really fun. If you didn't, uh, <laughs> if you haven't played it yet, uh, we do recommend playing <laughs> GTA 2 on, on 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 the network. It's really fun, dynamic uh, gameplay, and we just wanted to expand this idea, uh, make it more. Uh, I know I don't know technologically uh, modern, right? Uh, but also extended in terms of game modes available. For instance, the original GTA 2 had only three game modes. Uh, 
So we obviously wanted to expand on this. And uh, in GCT, there are right now seven game modes, I think. Yeah, something around that.